We're here with Ian Gordon of FAR Yacht Design. He handles sales and marketing for FAR Yacht Design in Annapolis. Uh, Ian, you're down here with the FAR 400 group. Uh, we have five boats. It's a, it looks like a very competitive class. First, kind of tell us a little bit about the development of the class and how things have evolved since the boat was launched. Well, we've had the boat. Uh, this is our uh, first anniversary of having the FAR 400 here at Key West. We had five boats here last year. We have uh, five boats returning this year. So in this, uh, in this economic times, we feel pretty good about that. We've managed to stay level. Uh, we've got a very competitive fleet here at Key West Race Week, and uh, we're really excited about it. Who would you say are, you know, Sled Shell Horse has been in the boat for a year. Uh, there's uh, some other very competitive teams. How would you handicap this thing? Who do you think is the favorite going into racing on Monday? I tell you what, when, uh, when I usually come to these events, I can, uh, I can pretty much line up where people are going to play out. Mm -hmm. But uh, this year I've been thinking about it a lot and I really can't tell you where everybody's going to come in. It's going to be that competitive. The boat's very even. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We have Rob Rollman here. He's had a, about a year in the boat. We have Sledge Shellhorse. He's had a year in the boat. We have Hannes Weimer, the, uh, the uh, builder mm -hmm. of the boats, and uh, he's going to be campaigning his boat. He has a very good team with Gordon McGuire. And, um, we have a Norwegian group that's come here. They have a very competent team, and uh, with Chessie Racing, we're hoping to have uh, have some uh, good results as well. Now you mentioned Chessie Racing. That is uh, George Collins, who is a very well-known racer, to, especially to those of us who are from Annapolis. Uh, he has, he's from Maryland originally, but he now lives in Florida. George has not really been involved with competitive racing lately. Talk about getting George back involved, and how excited is he to be here at Key West? Well, this is great. George has been a long time friend of mine, family friend, and uh, it's wonderful to get him back out and uh, down here to Key West. He loves Key West. He's uh, had a lot of success here in the previous years. Uh, his buddy uh, Jim Alsop has uh, helped orchestrate all this, and uh, we've got a bunch of the old guys uh, back together, and we're looking forward to having a lot of fun. Now, you're in this uh, HPR class, a uh, new type of uh, rule, a new formula. Uh, with some interesting boats, they're all supposed to be high performance boats and this rule is supposed to rate them a little bit better than perhaps they would be under PERF or IRC. What is your thoughts of the H, the PR class and the other boats that you're competing against? Do you feel your FAR 400 is similar to these other boats like the Carkeek and, and what you're going to be racing against? Well this is pretty exciting with the new HPR rule. We have, uh, we're, we're looking forward to a new way of rating boats, mm -hmm. a modern way. Uh, it's exciting. I think it's going to do a nice job uh, keeping this type of boat and this this breed of this generation of boat uh, competitive. Uh, it, we'll just have to see. Nobody knows exactly how it's going. We're we'll at a uh, a good of time in, uh, in November in Annapolis, yep. and uh, that was the first uh, time we really got to see how it all pans out, and the results were very competitive. So we're hoping to see more of that progress here in Key West. And last but not least, tell us a little bit about the FAR 400 and its performance characteristics. What do you like about the boat and, you know, the owners that are buying them? What, what is it about the boat that they that they like? Well, the nice thing about the FAR 400 is it, it solves the problem of making an affordable boat to move around the country. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's very easy. It's trailerable. Uh, it's fast. It's competitive. And the boats are extremely even. Uh, all the boats basically are made with the uh, smart pack systems, so it's just a, uh, a great level rating one design boat that we hope to see is competitive in HPR and some rating rules now as well.